What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and in this video we're going to be flashing our note 3 back to 100% stock Now this is for the sprint variant, but if you go to sammobile.com slash firmwares You can type in n900 and then your model number like the sprint version is the n900p so I just did an Android backup because this is currently on CyanogenMod Mod 11 M7. I really, really, really like the ROM. So I'm backing it up. That way, after I do this tutorial on how to flash your Note 3 back to 100% stock, I, I can reroute it using CF Auto Root, or I can just go ahead and go into download mode, flash the latest 2710 Torp Recovery. Uh, and then I can restore the Nandroid that I just made that I'm that I'm rebooting from. I literally just made it. Now I'm rebooting back into Sanjumon. So this is also going to show you that we are not stock. Our phone has a custom ROM on it. And if I go to settings, there's also a few more things I want to show you. We are on the SM900P. We are on CM11 Monthly 7, the snapshot, which is a very stable build. Uh, it's been seven months so far, seven releases. We are on Android 4.4.2, and we are on NAB. This is very important because if you go to the SAM mobile website here and you search for the N900, well, let me just go ahead and do that since it's uh, not working anyway. So N900P, add a P next to it. And then you'll see your device in this list. So you'll see that we are on baseband NAB, right? So that's this one right here that I have highlighted. If you're watching this video in 1080p, 1440p, or 2160p, then you're going to be able to read that. Which 2160p is 4K, which is what I'm recording the video in. So we are on this one right here, actually. This one, NC5 is a newer baseband that means your text messages your data internet your phone calls everything goes through your baseband so it's always good to have the latest one if you already have Knox, then there's no reason why you shouldn't accept the update or go ahead and flash it so we're gonna click on this one here nc5 which is the latest one and we're going to go down here to download uh, hit the slow one and then it's going to take a while. I have a mirror that I'm uploading as we speak. And by the time this video is online, it'll have been uploaded. I will put it in the description. I pay for that hosting. It's very, very fast. You click the download button. And if you have 120 down like I do, you'll be able to download it at a transfer rate of about 13 to 14 megabytes per second. So uh, let's go ahead and go down here until we find Odin. We've already downloaded it. I did that to save time. So Odin, and then it's going to take us here. I will also link to this in the description so you don't have to go through. I don't really like this little service right here where it, I guess it pre-downloads it and then it you hit done or you hit okay and it's saved right there. So we're going to open up Odin by going to our downloads up here and then clicking on Odin. What I recommend doing is going to your download folder. All right, I went ahead and moved that Odin 309 to my desktop. So what we're gonna do is right click on it and we have a program called 7-Zip installed. It's free, it's open source just like Android and you don't have to worry about buying it. So we're gonna go to extract and then it's gonna put it in a new folder here called Odin 309. Now it's in a folder, not an archive. Now what you're gonna wanna do is put your huge tar in there that we're going to be using to flash back to stock. Now I downloaded it from my other computer that I used to edit videos with and it's on this SD card. So the file that we need is a zip. When you download it, it's going to be a zip. You just click on it and inside there will be this huge file called in 900 and then whatever phone you have the sprint version is the uh, in 900p so we're just going to take this and drag it into our odin folder not the zip the tar the tar.md5 needs to go in that folder and we're just going to wait for it to finish unzipping so after we finish doing this our phone will no longer be on nab it will be on nc5 
So it'll have the very latest radio, bass band, everything. And then after we do that, we're going to do another video on how to root it using CF Auto Root, which is definitely the easiest way of rooting an Android device. And after it unzips, you're going to see this little screen right here, and it's going to do this. It depends on how fast your computer is. This is just a i3. It's not very fast at all, and we're loading it off of a USB drive, so it's not going to be the fastest in the world. All right, so now our tar MD5 is in there. Again, make sure in your Odin folder, you have the Odin program and you have the N900 tar, not the zip. <laughs> you will not be able to flash the zip, just the tar. So what we're gonna do is we are going to eject our little drive here and we're gonna get the USB cable and we're gonna stick it in the USB 2.0 port. If you don't have a USB 2.0 port, you can use the USB 3.0 port and you can use a normal generic micro USB cable. I'm just using the one that came with my Note 3. So we backed up all of our apps with titanium backup and we stored them on our external storage, the micro SD card behind the battery, behind the little cover here. So we've got all of our apps backed up. So when we root it, if we go back to stock, we can restore our apps. We've also done an Android backup. So that way after we go back to stock and our baseband's updated, we can restore an Android backup and go back to CM11 M7 and have it the way it is with 2.84 gigabytes of RAM. Once we flash this back to stock, there's going to be like uh, 2.3. And then it's going to say TouchWiz is taking up like 1.5 of that. So you're not even going to get a whole gig of available storage once you go back to stock. But when you have CyanjMod you can use a whole for whopping 2,840 megabytes of RAM that's available to you. That's why I like Sanjamod so damn much. Now let's go ahead and you know get to the, the whole point of this video. We're gonna power the phone off because we have to be in download mode to do this. And while it's doing that, we can right click on Odin and then run it as the administrator. And here it'll say like B-L-A-P-C-P-C-S-E. Well, if you Google that, You'll actually find that this person right here says PDA is now known as AP and the latest version of Odin. So just keep that in mind. This AP is PDA. It, that's the one you need to be in. So we're going to go ahead and hold the volume down, the home button, and the power button until our Note 3 gets into this little warning screen right here. And we're just going to press volume up to confirm that we want to get in there. As you can see... I currently have Trip Knox. If you have not tripped Knox, flashing this stock ROM will not trip Knox. So if you're on something prior to NC5, you can follow along with this video, update to NC5, and you you will still have Knox untripped. Like it will not, this program will not trip Knox if you're flashing an official stock ROM. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. And we should see COM and then a number. It does not matter if it's four, five, six, seven, does not matter. You just need to see COM and then a number. If you do not see that, then that's an issue with your drivers. You need to download the latest Samsung USB drivers. I will do my best to remember to link to the latest ones in the description below. Download them, install them. If it says reboot, reboot, then follow along with this video. So we're going to click on AP here. And then it's going to know that we are in our Odin folder. So it's going to load up that N900P and we're going to hit open. Now it's going to check the MD5 and this file is almost two gigabytes. So it's going to take the program a little bit and it looks like it's frozen, but it's not. It's just going to take a little while to calculate the MD5 and make sure it all matches. All right, so we are good to go. It has verified the MD5 successfully. So all we've got to do is hit the start button. And then you'll see a little progress bar down here. And it'll start filling up and letting you know, you know, how far it is. So let's go ahead and speed through this because this will take a while for it to write the entire system <laughs> to the phone. Now it's writing the modem, which is the uh, baseband, if you're curious. 
that's what's actually going to update it from NAB to NC5. So we'll have the la very latest one. Now, if for some reason it does not boot up, then you'll need to go into the stock recovery, which is volume up, home, and power, and do a manual reset. It looks like it's doing a reset right now. So we'll see. If your phone does not start up, all you've got to simply do is pull the battery out, put it back in, hold volume up, home, and power until you see the words recovery booting at the top and then let go. And when you're in stock recovery, you will do a factory reset and then that will reset your phone and it should boot up just fine. As you can see, my little light is pulsing right there. The camera may not pick it up all that well, but it is pulsing going dimmer and brighter. So we're not stuck in a boot loop at the moment, I don't believe. All right, the words pass appeared, so we should be good to go. Oh, by the way, once it says the, the, the thing before pass, at that time, it's okay to unplug it if you have to. See, we need to do a factory reset. It's all of our stuff still there from before. So we're going to pull our phone out. We need to hold volume up, home, and power until we see the re words recovery booting. And now you'll see that we are on stock recovery. We do not have custom recovery. Press volume down or just wait for that to show up. Go to wipe data factory reset. Press the power button. Go all the way down to yes. Delete all data. Press power again. And then just wait. All right, reboot system now. Optionally, while you're in custom recovery, right before you go into bootloader to run this program, you could also do a factory reset then, or you can wait until this finishes and you have, you know, stock recovery on there. Oh, my phone just vibrated. The screen went dim and the lights down here flashed for a second. Uh, I do not have a SIM card in this device, so it's not going to work on this screen here. I took my SIM card out and put it in my Nexus 5, and now my Nexus 5 is on Sprint, because this device does not pick up Sprint Spark, and I have Sprint Spark in my area, so I, I wanted Sprint Spark. Plus, I really like stock Android 4.4.3 without, you know any skin or overlay or anything like that. So now we just got to wait for our device to realize that, hey, it's not active. I, I may need to go back to this. Okay, sweet. Update successful. No, awesome, awesome. I don't have to switch back to this device. Yes. <laughs> I really like my Nexus 5. No SIM card. No, no duh. Connect to my network. All right. Once you type in your password, hit the connect button. And then next, and then auto time zone, and skip, and no, and not now, and next, 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 accept, skip, SM900P, all right, so do not show this again, all right, so it says that, oh, no SIM. Okay, okay. I was like, wait, there's an update available already? So if we go to settings here, and we go to general, and then about device, check that out. We now have NC5 baseband. We can root it using CF Auto Root, and then flash custom recovery via Goo Manager, Rasher, uh, any t app out there that flashes recovery, or we can put a tar md5 of twerp 2710 in here and flash it in download mode and then flash super su while we're in our custom recovery that's that's how you can do that so more information uncheck that i don't have service on this so it doesn't matter and then there's the rest of the information down there that you can see if you're curious to get rid of that little thing you'll just hold the back button that brings up your little recent apps thing. And also, let me show you this. We haven't signed our Google account. 
Ah, to get this screen to not show up when you press the home button, go to uh, skip, go to settings, and then go to open via home key. Now when you press the home key, it'll respond a little bit faster, and it won't accidentally bring up S voice. So let me show you. We haven't installed a single app. We have not signed to our Google account. Let me show you how much RAM we have. And, and let's go ahead and end all. Go to RAM. Clear. Okay. So without a single app installed, without signing into our Google account, and without installing any apps at all. So that's not too bad. Anyways, you get more RAM when you install AOSB. That's all I'm trying to say. Now our phone's stock, and we can root it, or we can take it in for warranty purposes. But remember, if you tripped Knox and they check your bootloader, they're going to see that you tripped Knox. There's no way in hell to untrip Knox at the moment. So it, it is what it is. It's done. Cool. We're back stock again. Not really cool, but I mean, and also you do need to be stock to activate the phone. So if I decided that I do want to go back to this phone for whatever reason, I need it to be stock so I can put my SIM card in it. And if I ever do decide to put my SIM card back in this phone, I need to call Sprint. I need to do an update PRL, update profile. I have to be stock in order to do all of that. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up. It's just a little click, but trust me, it goes a long way and it helps the channel out more than you probably know. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I tweeted hints, letting people know that I was working on a video on the Note 3. And I even posted on Twitter saying I was doing more Note 3 videos since my SIM card's not in it. And I really don't care what I flash to this phone or what I do to it because it's not my main phone. And I don't, I don't like flashing ROMs and messing with my main phone that I need to call people with and use GPS and stuff on. Please subscribe if you are new here and you wanna see more Note 3 videos. I will be doing more Note 3 videos, I promise. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.